It's good stuff. <clears throat> hey, good people. This is your brother, L, welcoming you to podcast number 260 of I'm For Real, Yes, It's True.com. Does my heart good to know that so many of you are still on this journey with me for three years now. God bless you. And as long as it's God's will, and he keeps giving me this opportunity, and he keeps giving the stories, then we'll just continue on. I think we'll know when he says enough is enough. Amen? Amen. So, some of you might have been thrown a little bit about the title of today's podcast, number 260. It's um, not what you might think. Most of you know I gave up profanity a long time ago. So, when I say the name of today's story is uh, careful using the F word, the F word I'm referring to is friends. Now, let me jump into this. Um, first of all, let me back up a little bit. In case I didn't say it, and I'm fairly certain that I did, this is your brother L. I'm not your pastor, but I love you. And uh, I appreciate you being on this journey with me. And those of you who've been here a well, while, you know how we do it. We get in and out in 10 minutes. We give you this story. Uh, we punch the point. We back it up with some scripture at the end that coincides with what we're talking about. And then we move on. All right. Give you something to talk about at work tomorrow or at least ponder in your own head. Amen. Amen. All right. So let me jump into this here. I told you I, used, I stopped using profanity a long time ago. Now, I have many people that I know and I call them A words. Now, that A word is acquaintance. Just like the F word in Brother Elville <laughs> is friends. I have many people in my life who are the A word. But as far as real, true friends, I can easily count them on two hands. Now, of course, uh, I have a very stringent definition of what I call a friend as you should too and there's only a few people in my life who actually fall under that and I sincerely hope that I fall under their definition of a friend as well I just passed a milestone I should say we did my oldest friend I'm blessed to have a friend now for 50 years and we've gone through some unimaginable trials and hardships and uh, times of sorrow, but also some times of triumph and victory. Something I did forget to mention earlier, if you see me looking down, it's because I had these wonderful notes and I just don't want to miss anything, any of the points that I want to cover. It's not because I'm ignoring you. I'm glad that you're on this journey. And it's not because I'm shy. It's because I got these notes that I don't want to miss. I'll continue on. Uh, this might be a good time for you to take a sip of your coffee. I know I took one earlier. I'm going to take another quick sip and then we'll move on to the conclusion. Uh, good stuff. Now, as I, as I mentioned, the milestone I've just passed with my good friend. We've been friends now for 50 years and we've gone through a lot together. We can let a whole year pass by because, of course, I live out on the West Coast and my friend lives on the East Coast. We can let a whole year go by and not pick up the phone and call each other. But as soon as one of us does pick up the phone and we start talking to each other, we start laughing, belly laughing, holding ourselves so that we don't cry about something stupid we did as kids. And, and just that quick. A bunch of old men are projected back to children again and I hope I sincerely hope that you have someone in your life like that what a blessing it is that is straight from the hand of God amen amen now let's see what scripture has to say about friends shall we <clears throat> okay Proverbs 18 24 says that one who has unreliable friends soon comes to ruin but there is a friend 
who sticks closer than a brother. Amen. Amen. Proverbs 17, 17 says that a real friend loves at all times. And this last one, and these all seem to have come out of Proverbs for whatever reason. Proverbs 27, 9 says, Perfume and incense bring joy to the heart, and the pleasantness of a friend springs from their heartfelt advice. And there, that's just a small sample, and there are so many more things that the Bible has to say about friends, good people. And uh, I just wanted to let you know that uh, I know some of the more late, latest podcasts have been a little bit sporadic, but never fear. They're going to soon start leveling out a little bit more. We The next week, if you tune in, we have a, a live in-studio guest. It's going to be marvelous. Please don't miss it. It's... Uh, about a brother who has an amazing testimony and i think that you're going to want to hear this all right so i'm going to say goodbye for now we're going to leave it right there i love you so much this is your brother l and i'm praying for you every single day and that's realer than real deal holy feel amen amen hope to see you guys here again next week if it's god's will don't forget your coffee don't forget that i love you do something good for yourself do something even better for someone else this week that you don't even know and that you have no stake in. Amen. Amen. We'll see you soon. God bless.